So with the 2024 double XL ciphers all being finished for this year, it really had me reminiscing. And because it's in season, I wanted to make a video about double XL that I haven't seen yet, which is the biggest snubs in double XL history. This topic is pretty self-explanatory. Throughout the years, there has been several artists that missed the cut on the said year that deserve to be on the list. Whether they deserve to make it at the time or they ended up being mega stars after missing the cut, there are a lot of rappers that slipped through the cracks. And because I don't want to make this video three hours long and list every rapper every year that should have been on the list, I set some parameters for myself. First of all, everyone I name had an official pitch for Double XL. That way I know for a fact that the artist or label were actually interested to be on the cover. So if I missed a certain name and you think they should have been in the video, assume that's the reason why. The other parameter is I'm not putting any rapper that missed a certain year, but ended up getting it the next year. For instance, I remember people said DDG got snubbed in like 2019 and then missed the cover that year, but he ended up making it in 2021. So I won't be making any names that eventually made the list a year later or so. But with all that being said, let's get straight into the video. T Grizzly is a rapper that should have made XXL in 2017 and 2018. Not as much in 2017 because he wasn't as popular yet, but he definitely deserved a spot in 2018. If you guys didn't remember, this is who we had on the cover for 2018. Outside of J.I.D., Trippy Red, and Ski Mask the Slump God, there isn't really anyone relevant on that list now. Up until 2018, T Grizzly had several big songs and projects out with My Moment, from the D to the A with Yachty, and of course, First Day Out. Boo, 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 boo. I can understand missing out in 2017 because First Day Out was still kind of fresh at the time, and in all fairness, 2017 had some bigger names than the year after. But he at least deserved it over Kamaya and Cap G. And looking at 2018, he could have made it over half the list. I think it was a bad decision to not have him on the list at that time, and I sure as hell know they're kicking themselves in the pants now. Also, T Grizzly would have snapped on a freestyle too. He definitely would have been better than Pump and Perp. <laughs> Lil Baby was a name I immediately thought of when it came to missed opportunities on Double XL. Lil Baby had a pitch to be on 2018, and as we have already established, that list had a lot of people that flamed out immediately after the cover dropped. Now, I understand at the point Lil Baby's pitch came out, his biggest song was Freestyle, which is a banger in its own right. But Lil Baby's rise came right after the 2018 cover, because afterward, Lil Baby honestly had the biggest rise out of any rapper that year. We're talking about Yes Indeed, Drip Too Hard, Pure Cocaine, Harder Than Ever, Drip Harder. Damn. Damn. Ultimately, Lil Baby declined XXL in 2018 despite having a pitch because he felt he didn't need the platform. And I guess he was right because his rise was meteoric. Speaking on another name XXL completely fumbled on, that was NBA Youngboy. Youngboy was honestly a bigger fumble than Lil Baby because Youngboy had several big songs out by the time his pitch came out with Untouchable and No Smoke, and the pitch was just a few weeks before until Death Call My Name dropped. I to this day will never understand why he didn't make the list, but here's the biggest thing that confuses me. In 2017, he already did a freestyle for XXL. So clearly they were okay with him freestyling for them already, so I don't understand why you let him freestyle the year before, but when he wants to make the double XL list, you don't give him the chance. And honestly the biggest fumble of this is Youngboy's audience primarily comes from YouTube, so this would have been an easy slam dunk for his freestyle to get all those views coming in. In my opinion, I think this one is the biggest snub of all time. Hey guys, Editor Ben here. I just found out that Youngboy actually turned down the offer and XXL wanted him on 2018, but he actually turned it down. But my point still stands, why did he do it for 2017, but reject 2018? It doesn't make sense. I want yeah, Famous Dex is another snub for XXL, and I think he would have fit well on 2017 and 2018 because as much as I hate using this term because it sounds ignorant and outdated, he really fit the quote unquote mumble rapper image with Cardi, Lil Pump, Smoke Perp, Trippy Red, etc. Now apparently he didn't make the list in 2017 because a video of him being his at the time girlfriend surfaced, but for whatever reason they still let him do a pitch the very next year just for him to not get a spot in 2018. So I don't really understand XXL's logic of rejecting him for, in all fairness, an awful video, but then proceed to give him a chance the next year when 2018 was his biggest commercial year with songs like Japan, songs like Pick It Up with ASAP Rocky. There were so many big songs that came out in 2018 for Famous Dex. I would have honestly understood if they just didn't let him do it in 2018 altogether and just never let him come back. <laughs> The last one I have on my list is Takashi 69 
But I can't really count him on this list because they intentionally made sure to not have him on that year's list for a variety of reasons. If you guys remember back in early 2018, maybe it was late 2017, there was a video of 6 9 and uh, a fan, I'm, I'm assuming was a fan, doing things that were kind of questionable. So they ended up not picking him for the cover. Also, the other things, they just chose not to add him for backlash reasons. So Also, they also let Trippy Red on the cover too, and I think they were beefing at that point too, so I think it was just in their best interest to not have him on the cover. But I could just imagine the amount of views a Lil Pump and 6 9 Cypher would do. And yeah, that's pretty much what I got on this list. If you guys want a part two, let me know. Uh, comment down below if you think there were other snubs throughout the years. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. God bless.